question one, what is a circuit breaker? A circuit breaker is a electrical safety device and it protects against short circuits and overloaded circuits. Short circuits and overloaded circuits are actually dangerous for the same reason, which is that they both lead to excessively large currents. Now, as you have learned before, currents uh, have a heating effect. Okay, so when there's an excessively large current, uh, there will be a very large heating effect as well. And when there's an excessively large heating effect, this can lead to a fire hazard. Now, how does a circuit breaker work? Real life circuit breaker uh, on the inside looks something like this. You have uh, the switch over here, a uh, solenoid over here, and some kind of lever mechanism over here. These are the three main parts. Okay? Of course, there are some other parts here which are more detailed, but we, which we will not go into. For uh, the secondary four level, you only need to uh, understand about the electromagnetism part of it, which is uh, represented in this diagram here. Okay, so this diagram is a very simplified representation of what's happening inside a circuit breaker. Okay, as you can see from the diagram, uh, the current is supposed to flow in here, right, through this context, right, through a iron rod like this, and then around a solenoid this way, and then out from the circuit breaker. So as we have learned from a previous chapter on electromagnetism, whenever we have a current that's flowing uh, around an iron core like this in a solenoid arrangement, uh, it means that this iron core will become an electromagnet. Okay? And so it will exert an electromagnetic force on the iron rod here like this. Now this iron rod is pivoted uh, at this point, and so it is always trying to rotate uh, this way. Okay, uh, anti-clockwise. Now, on this other end, you have a spring that's counteracting the anti-clockwise moments with some clockwise moments here. Okay, but what happens is that if the current flowing through the solenoid here, this wire, right, if this is uh, excessively large, then the magnetic force that is exerted on the iron rod will be very large as well. Okay, and then uh, if it's large enough, it, it will allow this iron rocker to rotate anti-clockwise and uh, rest in this position over here like this okay and when this happens uh, obviously these contacts here will separate right and once these contacts are separated then your circuit is broken right your your excessively large current is stopped okay so then no more hazard now what are the advantages of a circuit breaker with respect to a uh, fuse, right? A fuse is another safety device that guards against the same two hazards of a short circuit and overloaded circuits, okay? So the advantages for a circuit breaker are that, number one, it is a, a very fast operation. Now a fuse takes time to heat up and blow, whereas for a circuit breaker, right, the magnetic attraction happens instantaneously, well, almost instantaneously, and so it cuts the current uh, much faster than the fuse. Okay, so that's the first uh, advantage. The second advantage is that uh, it is reusable. Now, when a fuse blows, uh, basically it's destroyed in the process and you have to buy a new one to replace it. Okay, for a, a circuit breaker, what happens is that, remember when the circuit is broken, your iron rocker basically just rotates into this position like this. Now, look here, there is this thing called a reset button. Okay, so obviously when you push downwards on the reset button, what, what it does is that it pushes this uh, iron piece back into the horizontal position, right, which can then reconnect the circuit. Now, there are, there are of course some disadvantages as well. Uh, number one is that a circuit breaker, well, these two are actually linked if you think about it. The circuit breaker mechanism, as you can see here, is a lot more complex than uh, a simple fuse, right? A fuse just contains uh, an evacuated glass tube with a thin piece of wire inside, very simple. Okay, so of course being more complex, uh, uh, then if you want to replace it, uh, it's going to be more expensive to replace as well. So that's the second disadvantage that I can think of. Okay, so that brings us to uh, the end on the revision on uh, circuit breakers. Thank you.